So in the previous video I talked a bit about how the probabilistic nature of blockchains, namely that they are not fixed in time with a guarantee and can be potentially rewritten, uh, is a trade-off that is made in order to have censorship resistance. So uh, what does that mean, censorship resistance? Well, in an open permissionless blockchain, uh, anybody who has access to a computer and enough understanding can submit a transaction or even participate in the addition of blocks to the blockchain. And what that means is that because you don't have a central authority, um, you uh, have a close to a guarantee that what you want to put on the blockchain will actually appear on it. And uh, a side effect of this, for example, is the fact that the Bitcoin blockchain is full of all sorts of weird and wonderful things where people have submitted messages or even uh, texts of books, uh, quotes from the Bible, and um, even uh, JPEGs or uh, GIFs, provided they're small enough. And uh, this is something that a centralized database does not have. Um, I can't ensure that a particular transaction will go into a database run by my bank, for example. I can uh, try to submit a transaction, for example, making a payment or something like that, in order to ensure that the transaction I want appears in the bank database. But ultimately, the bank has full control over their database. And if they want to reject my transaction for no apparent reason, or for a reason that I disagree with, for example, I'm trying to use my debit card to buy a cryptocurrency and that bank doesn't like cryptocurrencies, um, they can simply censor the transaction. They can refuse to accept it and my purchase is null and void. So uh, that's what's meant by censorship resistance in the blockchain world. Um, if you submit a transaction, there's no central authority or entity who can say, I reject that transaction. Um, it's only if the system as a whole somehow conspires against you that your transaction can be censored. And given the distributed and decentralized nature of blockchain, um, that event would be a, an unlucky chance one rather than some kind of active decision by a controlling authority. So I hope that explained it and I'll see you in the next video soon. Bye for now.